All right, then, let's move on to West Africa. Uh, lawmakers in Ghana are debating a ban on the importation of second-hand vehicles that are more than 10 years old. The government there also plans to amend a customs law to include the ban on importation of salvaged or crashed cars. The idea here is to create a domestic market for a range of car giants, including Volkswagen and Toyota, both of which have set up assembly plants in Ghana. Local dealers, however, they're not very happy. So UTN's Nabil Ahmed Rufai explains why from Accra. Roland Essien imports cars from Europe and the US that have been in accident. He then repairs and sells them. He says his business will be affected by a ban on the import of second-hand and crashed vehicles. We are about um, around 50,000 that we do this business. And the people that follow us, they are numerous. One, uh, the dealers is going to affect us. And it's going to affect uh, the agents that they have to clear those cars and their boys. And those towing cars that, you know, take these cars to their various uh, mechanic shop where they're going to face it. And it's going to affect uh, the mechanics. Many Ghanaians heavily depend on second-hand vehicles because they are cheaper. The Ghana Revenue Authority estimates that an average of 100,000 cars are imported into the country annually. 80% of them are second-hand. Last year, the government adopted a policy to encourage foreign automobile companies to build car parts in Ghana. Under that policy, legislation is being amended to ban the import of second-hand vehicles more than 10 years old. But not everybody supports the move. The first concern that we raised was that it was important for government to devise a new incentive and investment regime in a regulatory framework for the industry. So that anybody coming in knows that he's coming under this particular regime. You don't go and amend the Customs Act to provide for them. The government says the policy will create jobs and reduce the imports of unwanted vehicles. The government estimates it will lose $145 million over the next three years after the implementation of the policy. But it expects the laws to be partly offset by the additional revenue from customs duties on vehicles not covered under the program. Legislators say that's too high a price and want the amended bill to be withdrawn. If you do a cost-benefit analysis, it gives you the impression that we'll be sacrificing a lot of jobs for this investment. No date has been set for the ban to take effect. Roland Asien hopes there is still time to reconsider so people like him stay in business. Nabil Ahmed Rufai, CGTN, Accra, Ghana.